It was terrible, I'm telling you, Phil, disgraceful. The guy was pouring out his heart and soul, and I wasn't even listening to him. What kind of a psychiatrist am I? Where is my empathy? Caring profession, ha! Couldn't care less profession, maybe. Come on, Mary, don't beat yourself up. It was the early hours of the morning, and you'd been working all day. Mary had to stop to breathe, and Phil seized the opportunity to try and get his point across. He wasn't a lawyer and the voice of reason for nothing. His friend Mary, usually level-headed and calm, was in a bit of a state. Yes, she had a pretty stressful job working as a trainee psychiatrist in a busy hospital, but she was quite senior now and not usually given to catastrophizing. That wasn't his fault. Damn! The guy was talking about his life. His girlfriend had left him, and he was contemplating suicide, and I was away with the fairies. I haven't the slightest idea what he told me. Nothing happened. You gave him good advice and evidently must have heard enough. You probably only switched off for a few seconds. And you gave him what he needed. How so? He wanted somebody to listen, and I wasn't listening. Phil realized that he was likely to exacerbate the situation no matter what he said, and decided to allow Mary to vent. She'd run out of steam at some point. Hopefully. She stopped talking after a few more minutes of lamenting her lack of empathy. Phil decided it might be safe to intervene. Why don't you... It's a con game, she interrupted him. Do you remember that movie House of Games? The one about the female psychiatrist and the con men? David Mamet's, wasn't it? Yes, precisely that one. I'm coming to the conclusion that they had a point. We just put on a performance, and as long as we are credible, good actors, and have the appropriate props and jargon, we get away with it. From that point of view, I guess all professions are a con game, Phil said. Perhaps, but most of them don't take the moral high ground or go around telling people what to do. Phil was about to contradict Mary, but realized that she seemed to be calming down, and it would be better to try a different tack. You must be due a vacation, Mary. Why don't you come and spend some time with me? You could always accompany me to work, get a bit of distance, and see how it feels to be an insider somewhere else. Won't your law firm have something to say about that? Client privilege and all that? I'll vouch for you, and I'm sure I could convince them that having you consulting with us could be useful, to give us a different perspective, especially if you aren't going to charge them for the service. I'm starting to wonder if you have a case you wanted my opinion on, and my call has just been the perfect excuse," Mary said in a more upbeat tone. You have a very suspicious mind, dear Mary. When a lawyer says that, it's time to worry. Phil was used to people making jokes and saying uncomplimentary things about lawyers. He did some pro bono work, but had no illusions that he would change society with his profession but it was interesting nonetheless. So what do you say? Are you coming to spend some time with me? Mary was quiet for a few seconds. She finally said, Won't I be in the way? In the way of what? You're single, well, divorced, and a bloke. Don't you have a woman in your life at the moment? You know I'm still recovering from my divorce. Phil made an effort to sound as sincere as possible. Mary had a very finely tuned bullshit detector. Ha! That's funny. I haven't seen any indicators that you're sad at all about your marriage failing. I've never truly understood why you married Iris. Well, she was hot. Sure, but otherwise, not up to your intellectual standards, Phil and you sent her to your mother's as soon as you went back to law school, and I'd say you might have seen her a handful of times in the three months your marriage lasted at a push. I'm sure you saw me more often than you saw her. Well, if you had played your cards right, perhaps you could have become my wife instead. Phil didn't know where that had come from. He hoped Mary would take it as a joke, because that was what it was. Right? Right?